We'll turn our attention to, I think probably for the neutrals, the, the biggest fixture of the uh, weekend. Compelling stuff, this one. Unai Emery uh, in charge of Arsenal for the first time against um, Pep Guardiola, of course, with the champions um, looking to really repeat what they did last season. This is really the hardest possible start, you have to say, to life after Arsene Wenger because Unai Emery enjoyed a, a pre-season with most of his players, um, seems to have won over the fans, uh, but he's up against a City team that seems strong in all areas, apart from maybe one. I noticed that the press is picking up on uh, Pep Guardiola's comments that he was looking to find some cover. Uh, as a holding midfielder for uh, Fernandinho and this piece from the uh, Manchester Evening News really mentioned that he's gonna have to play a lot of football the pressure is very much on him so James I'd like to come to you uh, on that one it's very hard to find any faults with the City squad and, and maybe Gundogan might have his say and others even the, uh, on this supposed lack of cover for Fernandinho is that the only area that you think they're worried about yeah yeah, it definitely is. Um, back in back in January, December, they they decided who they needed who they needed to sign, as in the areas they needed to sign over the next two windows. And it was a, a versatile forward, i.e., Mares. It was um, a centre back, Laporte, and it was a holding midfielder to to cover Fernandinho, who's 33 now. Mm. He played virtually all season last season. Can he do that again? Yeah, do you think there's a problem for Foden um, here? In, in, it's a player who, of course, many would like to see step up and play a little bit more football this year, but the implication, uh, the inference, of course, in, in Pep looking to replace or, or cover Fernandinho was that he felt he needed to go overseas for it. Uh, what, again, I mentioned Gundogan. I mean, uh, do you think they've got players who can, who can fill in there? They've definitely got players who can fill in. Pep's even talked about John Stones doing that, mm. and you could see that as well. Um, I... I like Gundogan there. I think he's played really, when they played him there last season. I thought he did well, but but Pep sees him as an attacking midfielder. Mm. He sees him as uh, more like cover for for David Silva, and he is very good in front of goal and getting into the box. Uh, he wants a specialist holding midfielder who is a like for like for Fernandinho. Who from the mm. day Pep came in, he straight away said we need to give this guy a new contract. Mm. Uh, he's absolutely pivotal to my plans, and finding cover for him is they found it very difficult. Well, one club that really has bolstered its options in terms of the central midfield area uh, is Arsenal. Unai Emery has gone in there. Agondoza was really important in, in their pre-season. Uh, Dereira, the player that caught our eye. Um, but he also wants to improve the defence. And, and, and he's embarrassed by the defensive stats from last season. And why not? 51 goals conceded in the league. That's Arsenal's worst since 1984. James, um, it's all well and good having a good pre-season, working with your players, but now the reality of Premier League football kicks in for Arsenal. How do you see the Emery era going? It's, it's just one of those great unknowns, isn't it? Look, I, I covered United after Fergie left, mm. and you didn't appreciate just how profound a loss that is until you saw how much da uh, David Moyes struggled, Louis van Gaal after him, uh, and even to an extent Mourinho. It, Arsene Wenger is the fabric of that club. I know Arsenal fans, I, I work with some, who, who only know Arsene Wenger being, being manager, and this is a club now who were, the fabric of them was Arsene Wenger. So to change that is going to be huge, and... You can only imagine it's going to be difficult. I, uh, I'm not expecting big things from Arsenal this season.